how to run NIST statistical test suite. If you're working with random or pseudo-random number generators and need to ensure their randomness, you're probably wondering how to use the NIST statistical test suite. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand what the NIST statistical test suite is. It's a collection of 16 statistical tests designed to evaluate the randomness of binary sequences produced by either hardware or software-based random or pseudo-random number generators. To start, you'll need to prepare your data. The tests require a set of binary sequences, which can be generated from your random number generator. For example, you might use 1,000 samples of 10 6-bit sequences for each test. Here's how you can run the tests. Preparing the data. Ensure your sequences are in the correct format. Each sequence should be a long binary string of zeros and ones. The NIST suite is flexible, but it typically works with sequences of a specific length, such as 10 6 bits. Running the tests, the NIST suite includes tests like the frequency test, block frequency test, runs test, and many others. Here's a brief overview of how to run some of these tests. Frequency test. This test checks if the number of ones and zeros in the sequence is approximately equal. You need to calculate the p-value, which indicates how likely it is to observe the given frequency if the sequence were truly random. Block frequency test. This test divides the sequence into blocks and checks the frequency of ones in each block. It ensures that the frequency is consistent across all blocks. Runs test. This test looks at the number of consecutive ones or zeros in the sequence. It checks if the runs are of the expected length for a random sequence. Analyzing the results. For each test, you'll get a set of p-values corresponding to each sequence. Here's how to interpret these results. Success rate. Calculate the proportion of sequences whose p-values satisfy the condition p-value poor a, where a is the significance level, typically set to 0.01. If this proportion is close to 1 minus ha, ha the test is passed. Uniformity of p-values. Check if the distribution of p-values is uniform. This is done by computing a he2 value and then calculating the p-value of the p-values. If this p-value is greater than or equal to 0.001, the distribution is considered uniform. Example workflow. Let's say you're testing an AES generator. You would generate 1,000 sequences, each 10 to 6 bits long. You then run each of the 16 tests on these sequences. For each test, you calculate the p-values and check the success rate and uniformity of the p-values. For instance, if you're running the discrete Fourier transform test, you'd check for any periodic patterns in the sequence. If the p-values indicate that the sequence passes this test, it suggests that the sequence does not have any obvious periodic patterns. Additional considerations. It's important to note that no single test can absolutely certify a generator as suitable for cryptographic applications. These tests are just a first step. You should also consider other factors like the input size recommendations for each test and ensure that your sequences are independent samples. By following these steps, you can effectively use the NIST statistical test suite to evaluate the randomness of your binary sequences and ensure they meet the necessary standards for cryptographic applications.